God bless you, everybody. God bless you. Share this video wherever you are. This is Prophet Ian Genesis, the man carrying the Genesis mandate, demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. God bless you wherever you are right now. Share this video so that everybody in the nation of Zambia can hear the voice of God under this prophetic mandate by the authority of the living God, wherever it is that you are. Share this video with everybody. This video is very important. God bless you. Let me know where you're watching me from in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. God bless you. Share this video. I am addressing the Republican president of the nation of Zambia, His Excellency, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu. God bless you, everybody. Share this video because this is a prophetic message under a prophetic assignment by the grace of God. It was around uh, 5 p.m. when God began to speak to me that I must speak using this medium. I must speak to the president of the Republic of Zambia. And as I was seeking the face of God, I asked God, what is it that I have to say to him? And the Lord began to minister to me. He said, I cannot do anything minus revealing it to you, the prophet. According to Amos chapter 3, verse number 7. So God bless you, everybody. Share this video. I can see people watching me from as far as Solwezi. I can see people watching me from within the nation of Zambia. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. God bless you and share this live video wherever you are, especially if you are in the nation of Zambia. Invite somebody, invite your friends, invite your family. Tell them that the prophet of the nation is live and is here to address the highest office in the nation. God bless you, everybody. I can see people watching me from Copper Belt. God bless you. I can see people watching from Kasumbalesa. When God wants to speak to a nation, you can never hear God from heaven beginning to speak. But he uses a prophet as a medium for him to communicate to his people. So it is not by mistake or by coincidence or by accident that I'm speaking. I'm speaking because God has given me a divine assignment as a prophet in the nation of Zambia. There are pastors, there are bishops, there are apostles, and there are us, the prophets. One of the assignments of the prophets is to release the mind of God to the people. So some of you may be saying that, man of God, why at such a time as these, you want to address the, the, the president of the Republic of Zambia is because God has spoken to me. One of the things that God wants to remind His Excellency President Edgar Chagwalungu is that in 2016, when God chose him to be a leader of the nation of Zambia, he did not have the support of the cabinet. He did not have the support of uh, the PF Patriotic Front. He was actually someone that was not even considered to be somebody that can be a president in the party. So God has sent me to remind the president, His Excellency, that he has made a lot of mistakes in his speaking. The people that he was supposed to reject during this election, he has decided to bring them back. And that is one of the mistakes that the president has made. He has decided to embrace those that God has decided to reject. All through his tenure, God has been with him. All through his tenure, God has been with you. But you have decided to, to listen to the people that don't hear God and you have decided to ignore the voice of God. The Lord is speaking and the Lord is speaking expressly that at this time where we are heading to elections, number one, the president of the Republic of Zambia, you need to be very, very careful and seek the face of God. You need to seek the face of God not to make the wrong decisions as we are going towards August election. One of the things that God has spoken to me is that 
it has even come out into the limelight is the fact that doctors cannot go on strike. Doctors cannot go on course law. Doctors must be paid. Doctors must be paid. The Lord is saying that the president must redeem his integrity in the nation of Zambia. He must redeem himself to the people of Zambia and to the nation of Zambia at large. The Lord gave you the presidency on a platter of God. Do not allow the support of people. Do not allow the support of fellow politicians to deceive you. The Lord is speaking and is speaking expressly. Go back to what God told you when he chose you as a leader in the nation of Zambia. God is saying you cannot decide to keep those that you are supposed to fire and expect God to be happy with you. You cannot keep those that have undermined your capacity and your intelligence as a president because of looking for votes. You need to remember, Your Excellency, that these people did not vote for you in 2016. They did not even choose you when the, when the, the convention happened in Kabwe. They did not choose you. So do not please them. Do not please those that you are supposed to reject. That said, the Spirit of God, in the next two months that we are entering in right now, Your Excellency, you need to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? The right thing is for you not to listen to the voices of those that are encouraging you when you go astray. The Lord is saying it is for you to seek the face of God and do the right thing. It is time for you, Your Excellency, to redeem your integrity and your personality. There are people around you that don't love you. There are people are around you that don't have your best interest at heart. And you know them. And you laugh with them. But the Lord is saying, don't laugh with them. The people that have rejected you, reject them. That said, the Spirit of the living God. God is speaking to you expressly. In these two months that are remaining to the elections, the Lord is saying do everything possible to do what is in the best interest of the people of Zambia. Do what is in the best interest of the people of Zambia. And one of the things that I'm just going to give you as an example is that you should not allow people to die in hospitals because doctors have got on course law. The doctors were promised to be paid. And now people have turned around not to pay the doctors. And this will bring your name in disrepute. This will bring your reputation and your integrity in disrepute. Do the right thing. The Lord is saying, Your Excellency, He loves you. And He is still with you. But you need to reject those that God has rejected within your party circles. Within your party circles. There are people that God has spoken through the prophets that you are not supposed to be with. The Lord is saying, why are you keeping them? Why are you keeping people that the SEC is investigating? Why are you still keeping people that you dropped down from ministerial positions? Why are you still keeping them? That said, the Spirit of the Living God, Your Excellency, why did you allow the Central Committee to choose people that you, were, you dropped as ministers to run again as members of parliament. These are the things that the Most High God is not happy with you. And you need to correct the errors. You need to correct the mistakes. You need to correct the errors. You need to correct the mistakes. Your Excellency, you cannot choose people that have been investigated for corruption and you choose them as to run as members of parliament. Your Excellency, without fear of contradiction, the hand of God that is upon you will be removed if you don't do the right thing. 
the hand of God which is upon you will be removed if you do not do the right thing. The Lord is saying in heaven that you must do the right thing. You must do the right thing. And many people that do not understand anything about the prophetic, these are people that criticize the prophetic. The people that do not understand the office of the prophet, these are people that reject the counsel of the prophet. Any king that does not listen to the counsel of the prophet is a king that is destined for downfall. Your excellency, God is speaking to you yet before an election. There are people that you need to reject. Wisdom is profitable to direct. The Lord is saying there are people that you know, deep down in your heart, you know that these people, you are not supposed to keep them around you. But instead, you have kept them around you. The Lord is saying, reject them. Because you don't need them. All you need is God. But if you allow yourself to be confident in people and to be confident in men, the same men you are confident in will make you fall. That said the spirit of the living God, that it is God that chose you. And the same God that chose you can reject you if you do not do what God is saying. For the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. The Lord is speaking to you expressly, your excellency. The president of the Republic of Zambia. Remember how you became a president. Remember how God picked you up from where God picked you up from and how you became a president. Remember how you had no support even from your colleagues. Remember how you did not have support even from your relatives and your family members. Remember. Remember what God did for you. God set you on high for the nation of Zambia. There is still time for you to do the right thing. There is still time for you to do the right thing. There is still time for you to do the right thing. There is still time for you to do the right thing. That said the spirit of the living God unto you. Reject those that God has rejected. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the cronful. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the cronful. Or in the path of the wicked. Blessed is that man. Your excellency, God has blessed you with wisdom. God has blessed you with understanding. But one of your weaknesses is that those that have betrayed you, you do not chase them away. You still embrace them. There are people that are biting you and you are still embracing them. The Lord said those that God have rejected, reject them. That said the Lord unto Zambia, it shall be well with Zambia if you reject those that God have rejected. The Lord said it shall be well with Zambia if those that have looted Zambia, using the name of His Excellency the President, if those that, that have misused the resources of Zambia, if you can reject them, the Lord will still lift you. If you can reject them, the Lord will still be with you. For you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Which bears fruit in season. Your presidency is shaking your excellency because you have decided to embrace those that God have rejected. That said the Lord. That said the Lord. That said the Lord. That said the Lord. Reject them. The crown is still on your head. But it is up to you to remove the crown. 
The crown is still on your head. President Edgar Chagwalungu, the crown is still on your head. But it is up to you to remove the crown. By the actions you will take from today to August, it's up to you to remove the crown. There is witchcraft manipulation in the realm of the spirit and in the realm of the natural. But you have to do the right thing. That said the Lord. In Zambia, this is a message for you. There are many prophets, false prophets. There are many witch doctors that are brewing confusion in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is saying unto you, Zambia, it shall be well with you, Zambia. There are already projections in the realm of the spirit so that there can be confusion in Zambia. But the Lord is saying, it shall be well with you, Zambia. It shall be well with you, Zambia. It shall be well with you. Your Excellency, one of the mistakes you have made during this short period to the elections is the issue of prisoners. The issue of prisoners. The issue of prisoners. Already, you have already seen a sign where an escaped prison prisoner raped somebody. Your Excellency, that decision was not made from the premise of prayer. That decision was not made from the foundation of prayer. That decision was made in a rush. And that is not a decision that can help you win an election. That is a decision that can make you to lose an election. Your Excellency, you need to reconsider. Look at the safety of Zambians. Look at the safety of the children that God has put into your hands as a custodian. Already as parliament is dissolved, as members of parliament are no longer a group that makes up government, they do not care about you. All they care about is to win in their constituencies and come back in parliament. Now is the time you have to demonstrate to the people of Zambia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 There will be no confusion. There will be no confusion in the realm of the spirit because we are praying. Zambia, God is calling you to the place of prayer. Zambia, God is calling you to the place of discernment. God is calling you to the place of understanding. God is calling you to the place of wisdom. The people of Zambia, you are people that God has called by his name. You are a nation under God. You are a nation under the spirit of God. And you are a nation that God is calling to prayer. And as a nation that God is calling to prayer, Zambia, the, the word of the Lord is saying, it shall be well with you. The Lord is saying, the Most High God is saying, those that wish to do blood sacrifices in the nation of Zambia, the Lord say he will arrest them. The Lord say he will arrest them in his power. The Lord say he will arrest them in his glory. Because they will not succeed to shed blood in the nation of Zambia. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. I saw in the vision how they wanted to begin to shed blood in the nation of Zambia. And the Lord says they will not succeed. In this nation that is a covenant nation, a nation under God, they will not succeed. And every Zambian, every Zambian, this is a prophetic instruction to every Zambian from today. To the election, every midnight, wake up at midnight. Every Zambian, this is a prophetic instruction. Every Zambian, wake up at midnight and plead the blood over the nation of Zambia. Zambia shall be preserved. Zambia shall not go in disarray. Zambia shall not go in a place of confusion. Zambia, there shall be peace and love 
in the nation of Zambia. There shall be love and peace in the nation of Zambia. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Though they may seek no confusion, and this is the desires of the enemies of Zambia, that they may seek no confusion in the realm of the Spirit, but the Lord says, hold your peace, Zambia. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Because there's going to be a lot of misinformation, even on social media. There's going to be a lot of misinformation. People are going to be carrying a lot of misinformation. But the Lord is saying over Zambia, hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. And to the men and women of God in Zambia that have not maintained their integrity, that speak because they have been paid to speak by individuals, the Lord says he has rejected you and he will not speak through you. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That those men and women that have corrected a bribe in order for them to prophesy, in order for them to speak over this covenant nation, to speak lies, the Lord says he has rejected you and he has rejected your office. But they that speak according to the premise of God, they that speak according to the ordinances of the Lord, the Lord says he shall use you to bless Zambia. There is something that God is going to do in this season in the nation of Zambia. Because Zambia is a covenant nation. The Lord is saying to you, Zambia, that it may look like things are working to the disadvantage of Zambians. But there is something that the Lord is doing in the realms of the spirit. Because God uses the foolish things of this world to exalt the wise. That said the spirit of the Lord, even those that do not agree with me, even those that do not agree with the ordinances that God is speaking to you, you will see the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. You will see the fulfillment of the word of the Lord in the land of the living. That said the spirit of the living God, the confusion in the realm of the spirit, we are going to take 21 days. We are going to take 21 days as Zambians, 21 days. Every midnight as a Zambian, wake up in the midnight. You are a watchman on the city gates. Because people have brought witchcraft in the nation of Zambia. People have brought satanism in the nation of Zambia because they want to win an election. But the Lord says... If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Now shall my eyes and my ears be attentive unto their prayer. Now shall I sanctify this house that my face shall be perpetually there. Hear me and hear me well. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, it is a time for Zambians to be in consecration. It is a time for Zambia to enter a place of consecration. It's a time for presidents to enter the place of consecration. And the Lord is saying by the spirit of the living God that every politician, every, every MP, every counselor, every president that has consulted a sorcerer, that has consulted a witch, that has consulted a malam, that has consulted a dibia, so that they can be installed in the nation of Zambia. The Lord is saying the land of Zambia by itself will reject them. The Lord is saying that the, the nation of Zambia as a covenant land, it has got the ability to reject the rejectables. Thus said the spirit of the Lord unto you. That the land of Zambia will begin to reject those that need to be rejected. The land of Zambia will begin to reject those that must be rejected. The Zambian people are suffering. But part of the suffering of the Zambian people is because of the manipulation of the wicked people in the realms of the spirit. Some of the problems that we are facing in Zambia are not as a result of mere mortals. Some of them are as a result of a spiritual manipulation. But if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, 
Thus said the Spirit of the Lord unto you, Zambia, 21 days of prayer. At midnight, Zambians must wake up and seek the face of God. Zambians must seek the face of God. Zambians must seek the face of God. Zambians must seek the face of God. President Edgar Lungu, I repeat and I reaffirm the word of the Lord. Go back to why God chose you as president. Do not look at those that support you because many that support you are actually against you. They use you. And you are aware of this, but you have kept your enemies closer. The Lord is saying there is no need for you to keep your enemies closer. The Lord is saying you must take your enemies very far away from you. Thus said the Spirit of the Lord unto you. Thus said the Spirit of the Lord unto you. Thus said the Spirit of the Lord unto you. Thus said the Spirit of the Lord unto you. For it shall be well with Zambia. It shall be well with Zambia. It shall be well with Zambia. There are people who are asking, when shall we start the 21 days? The 21 days starts tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. 21 days of seeking the face of the Lord over Zambia. And indeed, God will prevail over these elections. The Lord is saying the people of Zambia should not be worried about rigging. Because the will of God will prevail more than the will of the people in this election. I repeat and I reaffirm, the will of God will prevail more than the will of the people. Because many of the times people make mistakes because the sight of men is temporal. But the sight of God is eternal. So in this August 2021 election, the Lord is saying his will will prevail more than the will of the people. For the Lord is saying unto you, Zambia, that I know the plans I have for you. Thus said the spirit of the living God. For I know the plans I have for you. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. For it shall be well with Zambia. It shall be well with Zambia. It shall be well with Zambia. President Edgar Chagwalungu. Go back to why God chose you as president. President Ediga Chagwalungu, go back to why God chose you as president. Most of the people that you rely on, on advice, were not there when God chose you as president. Most of the people that you rely on, were not there when God chose you as president. Therefore, if you rely on those people, God will reject you. Go back. Go back. This is a prophetic warning. Go back. Go back to why God chose you as president. There is a covenant that God wants to fulfill in the nation of Zambia. There is a covenant of what God wants to do in this season and in this time. And God requires the remnant of Zambia. God requires the men and women that fear God in the nation of Zambia. These are the people that God requires to fulfill his purpose, his mission, and his assignment. Shall be well with Zambia. Shall be well with Zambia. There is a prophetic assignment. Jesus. There is a prophetic assignment. What God wants to do between now and August. There is something that God is trying to do in the realms of the spirit. And this thing will require Zambians to seek the face of God. Because if Zambians do not seek the face of God. They will make choices in an election by manipulation. The Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people are in sorrow. 
There is something that God wants to do in this prophetic dispensation. And it requires every Zambian that fears God. It requires every Zambian that knows the name of the Lord to come together in one accord in prayer and in supplication. For the fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. I'm calling upon every politician that loves Zambia. The fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. To all the politicians, the Lord is warning you because every charm that we enter into the nation of Zambia, the Lord will reject the presenter of the charm and the person holding the charm. Zambia is re-consecrated. Zambia is redirected. Zambia is re-consecrated. Zambia is redirected. And hear me and hear me well. The will of God in this August 2021 election will prevail more than the will of the people. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate. Demonstrating the God of the beginning in the now. Zambia shall be well with you. The message is simple. President Edgar Chagwalungu, don't embrace people that God has rejected. The message is loud and clear. Don't embrace people that God has rejected. To the people of Zambia, the message is simple. There is a wind of confusion. There is a wind of bloodshed in the realms of the spirit. But the Lord said you shall take 21 days as a nation. You shall take 21 days of prayer, midnight prayer, as a watchman on the gates of the city, watching over the nation. Watching over the nation. It is not every prophet that God gives a prophetic assignment to speak over a nation. The reason why many of you are watching me right now, thousands of Zambians, the reason why you are watching me right now is because God has given me a prophetic assignment to be a national prophet by the grace of God. It is not by accident or by coincidence that you are here listening to the sound of my voice, but it is because of the prophetic assignment that God has given me in a nation. If it wasn't for that, you can't even listen to me because it is God that gives a platform. God has given me a platform. And as you are listening to the sound of my voice, may God give you discernment to hear that it is Elohim that is speaking. May God make you hear that it is Elohim that is speaking. Because it is not easy to listen to a prophet speaking. It is very easy to listen to a sangoma. It's very easy to listen to a witch. It's very easy to listen to a satanist. It's very easy to speak, to listen to people that are making all sorts of jokes. It's not easy to listen to a prophet. It takes the spirit of God to listen to the prophet. It takes the spirit of our father to listen to the prophet. Oh, you prophets, evangelists, pastors, by the grace of God, there are pastors who listen to the sound of my voice. Those who are under mentorship, under the office of the prophet, and those that are not under mentorship, under the office of the prophet, there are bishops that are listening to the sound of my voice. Your spirit beareth witness that we are sons of God. Your spirit beareth witness that I come in the name of the Most High God. Therefore, obey the prophetic instruction <laughs> obey the prophetic instruction obey the prophetic instruction obey the prophetic instruction obey the prophetic instruction obey the prophetic 
instruction. Zambia, enter into a place of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis. And I am the man that is carrying the Genesis mandate. Demonstrating the Lord God of the beginning in the now. And I approve this message. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom for now.